How much was this? Enough. Why? It only costs fifteen dollars, guys. Not twenty three hundred. Why are you trying to expose me? <laughs> My channel as you can see i got this man over here victor wang from the naval academy we're gonna do a q a with him if you don't remember he was in my original video of 1v1 versus naval academy midshipmen if you probably saw that video i let him win the 1v1 just because yeah, you know i just no i'm just better you know i just needed him to feel good about himself you know after he got beat down from plebe summer you know he had to feel good anyways as many of you guys know victor goes to the naval academy and he doesn't really have many opportunities to kind of get these kind of Q&A sessions going. So I thought, you know, why not do a Q&A in my house during Thanksgiving day. In one of my other videos, you guys gave a bunch of questions that you wanted to ask Victor. So I have them on the sheet of paper right here. So without further ado, I just want to first say, uh, Victor, can you give a brief description of yourself in yeah. case there are any ladies out there who want to uh, hit you up, you know? Yeah, I'm a BCA, Bergen County Academy, uh, 2017 graduate. We're in the same graduating class, that's how we know each other. I didn't get into Naval Academy on my first time. Uh, I had applied twice, so I went to University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign for a year, and then I transferred to Naval Academy. I mean, it's yeah. kind of my story, I guess. <laughs> so let's start with the first question. When is Nick G getting his $37 <laughs> back? <laughs> I already gave it to him, I gave him rides. The rides compensated for that, so never, I guess. Okay, right, next question comes from my sister. Um, why did you choose the Navy and why not the Army, the Marines, the Air Force? Yeah, it just had a lot more options coming out. So coming out, you can service like a lot more things. For example, you can service like a submarines. You can be a service warfare officer. You can be a Marine Corps officer, Navy pilot, SEAL, EOD, uh, Med Corps. Um, just in the Army, you don't really have that many options. In Air Force, you don't really have that many great options as well. Ask Jindal asked this question. He's my great grand big and data ta. He wants to know who would win in a game of musical chairs, a team of blind people or a team of deaf people? <laughs> uh, a team of deaf people, because the blind people just wouldn't know where to go. They just like keep on walking and they wouldn't, yeah. they wouldn't know where to sit. Wouldn't they know when the music stopped? Yeah, but then the deaf oh. people would realize that the oh. blind people knew that, and then the blind people would react, the deaf people would react via how the blind people react. That's true, that's true. I'd rather be deaf than blind, in real life too. This comes from Andrew Zhang, Manscale Tony Wu. Oh, 10 man, yes. Oh man, 10 man, he's a snack. Sam asks, how do you get a friend like Tony? Who said we were friends? friends. Yeah, I, I just like, I just found him on the street actually, yeah, yeah, and it like, yeah. he happened to be in Naval Academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much happened, yeah. Sanjana Rao wants to know, uh, what is your first memory of me? Uh, honestly, I kind of thought you were a loser. I think I told you this before. No, really? Yeah, no, I, I think I told you. Because this was in the basketball camp, remember? Yeah. And then you were trying to like show up and everything. Like, like show off and you're just like, nothing's changed, I guess. I and mean, you're still a loser, Damn. but it's like... There's more. There's more to you than I think. I think you're looking at someone else. Like I don't. Ah, uh, right. Of course. Yeah. Another yeah. Dude. I yeah. actually made my jump yeah. shots. Like at the time. No, you didn't. You never made jump shots. Are you aware of the subtle Asian traits page? And what do you think of it? I am. I think it's uh really funny. Uh, really relatable. A lot of them it takes up a lot of my time now. So going into some of the Navy questions now, we're gonna start with uh, how is the food at the Naval Academy? A lot of people there complain about it, but it's honestly not that bad. I mean, yeah. you get hot food every single day and three meals a day, and a lot of people yeah. in the world don't get that. And even compared to like regular college food, like it's not that bad actually. I kind of like it. How is it compared to Johns Hopkins food? So much better. At least the day I went. Gotta yeah, come during Sterling brunch. Sterling brunch is once a month, and it's basically when uh, we get really bougie and we start giving out salmon, shrimp. We have like ice sculptures and stuff. It's just a time, you know. What classes are you taking? What do you learn at the Naval Academy? Right now, the class I'm taking is uh, I'm taking uh, Calc 3, uh, Chem 2, Naval History, Boxing, Cybersecurity, English, and that's it. I take 18 credits, yeah. that's or 17, 18's yeah. average. Yeah, see like I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, I'm trying, I'm trying to get through Hopkins taking 15 credits or less every semester. So like 18 just sounds incredibly insane. And then combine that with like the 5 a.m. workouts. And they just- Don't forget all the other stuff we need to do. Yeah. It's, just, it's a lot of stuff. What's the worst military obligation you have to do so far? Parades, nobody likes parades. Right. It's like, 
you'll find them online. Like if you look up Nate, a USNA parade, you'll find it. It's like an hour and a half long. It's mandatory. Uh, nobody likes it at all because it's really, really boring. And especially in the summer, it's bad because uh, you have to wear FTVs. It's, it's like your parade uniform. Uh, first of all, it's really, really uncomfortable. And then it's also kind of thick too. And then sometimes you'll be standing out there in like 105 degree weather. People will pass out because like it's super duper high. Those are the worst. Nobody likes them. What are your plans after graduation? Uh, I want to service like submarines. So I'll be a submarine officer. And then you have to go to power school first for around like two years. And then you have, you're an officer board submarine, I guess. Apple or Android? Android. Android? Yeah. Windows or Mac? Windows. Oh yeah, Fortnite or PUBG? Fortnite all the way. <laughs> what is your mile time now? And what was it before going to Naval Academy? Uh, my 1.5 mile time is uh, 9.45. Yeah. Uh, so I guess that's a 6.30 per mile pace. So I'm assuming I can run a mile under 6.30. Uh, before going to Naval Academy, my PR was six six thirty eight. Got it. Yeah. Yes, very fast. Well, that was before Naval Academy. Now it's probably around like six twenty, six fifteen. Fifteen years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's all the questions I have for Victor today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys gained some insight on the Naval Academy life and just on the thoughts that goes on in this man's head. Well, until next time, we out.